Okay, here we go with the unboxing of this Asus AC1700. Uh, it's a dual band gigabit router. Got this on Amazon. It's uh, it's uh, one of the good ones. It's got a quad core processor. It's uh, got some good antennas on there, and it has a USB 3.0 port in the back there. Um, so you can use it as like a server, plug in an external hard drive, I believe. Uh, okay, let's get it set up. Okay, first you want to unplug your your modem from your cable company. I've got the uh, Motorola. I know this is the Cisco one. Some people have this, the Aris. But uh, you want to wait until all of those lights are solid orange on this one. Just wait. So yeah, you wait on that. Um, meanwhile, while that uh, is rebooting, uh, we can start getting this set up. Uh, you don't want any of this stuff plugged in. Uh, no Ethernet cables or anything plugged into the the modem. This is the router. Modem comes from a cable company. So nothing right now is plugged into the to the modem, just the cable and the power. No, no Cat5 Ethernet. Okay, that's important. Okay, here's the instructions. Basically, it's the same as what I just told you. Um, you know, the sequence at which you plug things in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Ethernet cable to the back of the modem. All the lights are on, all four are solid now, so we can start plugging in the Ethernet. Okay, there's actually an on off button right next to the power cord. So push that. Okay, we have lights. Plug the antennas up. Just like that. Okay, then you, uh, you insert one screw into the wall, test it, hook it on there. And then the other screw hole is directly back from this antenna on that side. So just mark it on the wall, take it off, then put your second screw. Okay, your uh, username and password, your temp is on this paper on the bottom. Um, then you're going to go to this website to configure all of your own passwords and usernames and everything else. Okay, so this takes a few extra minutes to mount it on the wall, but... Uh, Definitely worth it to keep it up and out of the way since this thing's not cheap uh, and you get some good reception there. You just gotta zip tie your wires out of the way. I removed my face plate or my uh, wall wall plate there um, just temporarily so I could uh, uh, get a little less late latency uh, because uh, I've got a long run straight to the house. Um, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, there you go. The little plastic clips in the back broke and, like, fell down in, into the router. But, uh, looks like it's working, so. Yeah. That was kind of a bad design on their part. The little, when you, you put it on the screw hole, it pushes the plastic piece in, and then it breaks off and falls down in there. So that was kind of retarded on their part um, and you have to have your screws sticking way out because the feet um, protrude from the bottom uh, yeah so anyway it's all good just got some broken plastic in there already but uh, let's test it out okay <laughs> type in admin Go here, router.asus.com, admin is the username, admin is the password, you're going to change that now. Okay, uh, depending on whether you're going to use the 5 gigahertz or the 2.4, uh, I found a form that talks about it a little bit here. Um, 5 gigahertz is going to be a shorter distance than the 2.4 but the 5 
gigahertz can transmit data at faster speeds. Okay, the range is lower in the 5 gigahertz band. It's more than this 10 to 15 feet um, I'm reading, but uh, it's, not, it's not very far because the higher frequencies cannot penetrate solid objects. So we'll test it out. Um, I've got a Roku box set up to my TV and uh, I want to get a, uh, a good signal in there so I can uh, listen uh, over the Wi-Fi connection with my headphones connected to my tablet uh, connected to the Roku box on the Roku app so we'll test this out and uh, I'll set it up to the 5 gigahertz and uh, maybe even the one in the living room and just see how it works uh, yeah because we want to get the highest speed possible so we'll test that out okay so here you see uh, so you get the idea waveform 1 Hertz measure in one second very low frequency subs and wells communicate underwater using this okay the frequency the larger the waveform is the further it can travel and the more things it can penetrate so the larger the lower the frequency, the larger the wave. Okay. So lower goes further, basically. Okay, the lower the frequency, the less power. Higher frequency, more power. Uh, so most route routers are limited to 270 microhertz with is much less than a watt hmm. so I don't know if it's it's good for your health to use higher frequencies in your home anyway but uh, you know it's FCC restricts power outputs of devices so just wanted to show you this this guy uh, says it depends on factors uh, he's seen people show off 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi link spanning 20 miles in San Francisco uh, yeah maybe with some uh, some repeaters or something <laughs> but uh, normally it's like 150 feet if you're lucky outdoors okay I figured it out Uh, the 5 gigahertz is here. There's a drop down band. Uh, you click on wireless, go here, 2.4 gigahertz drop down, and then switch it to 4, 5 gigahertz. Uh, it works great in the living room. So, streaming on the Roku in the living room looks awesome. And I'm getting uh, the full 60 uh, megabits per second. Um, and if you try it, like on my cell phone, for instance, on 2.4, it's only half that, 30. So, uh, yeah. But in the bedroom, which is uh, close by, apparently there's more walls. I can't even pick it up. Um, so that doesn't make any sense. But uh, definitely excellent. It says excellent uh, signal in there. So those high gain antennas help. Um, nice router definitely happy with it. Uh, please like if this helps. Thanks.